Aries, 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 disengage from obstacles. Disengage from obstacles, Aries. It says, let go so you can open yourself to highest love that you deserve. Find ways to release worry or any unresolved lack of forgiveness you may be holding on to. Spirit guides want you to release whatever you've been holding on to that could be potentially holding you back from really getting or finding the love that you want. Hello, I'm Positive Thoughts and Energy, my beautiful, beautiful Aries. How are y'all doing today? To all of my subscribers, I love you guys. Let's see what else is in your energy, my beautiful Aries. Disengage from over outcomes. Disengage from outcomes, spirit guides is saying Aries, okay? Okay, let go of things that you may be holding on to. Be insightful and establish is your other cards, my beautiful, beautiful Aries, okay? And it says, ground and rebalance your energy, Aries. Bring new awareness into, your, into, into the now rather than allowing it to occupy the past or the future. So be insightful and establish. Uh, ground yourself, okay? Rebalance yourself, refocus yourself. With this um, disengage the outcome, uh, spirit guides want you to regain your focus um, and, and not keep dwelling on the past and definitely don't go so far into the future. But th whatever this is that you've been holding on to, Aries, okay, um, find a way to release it, okay? Find a way to release the worry or whatever that has been unresolved in your past, okay? Because it's time for you to get back focused on you. It's time for you to regain your focus, regain your balance. Okay? Some of you have really, um, you're off balance from yourself. Your chakras are off balance. Okay? And spirit guys, in order to do that, you got to let go of something that you've been, that you have not. You got to. I know sometimes we can suppress things that we're trying to forget about, but but until you face those things uh, and not continue to suppress them, because suppress them only let only allow it to just dissipate for a minute, but it's always going to rise up again in your life. So what Spirit Guides is saying, find a way to resolve this, the very thing that you have been uh, holding on to. And so that you can get back balance in your life, Aries. Tell me, okay, tell me more. Safe and surrounded by love, okay? Safe and surrounded by love, my beautiful, beautiful Aries. It says, keep your heart open and know that you are being protected, Aries. Okay, listen to what you know to be true and allow yourself to see and understand what is going on around you, okay? Okay. It's just saying, be just be aware, you know, but also in the same sense, um, it's okay to open up your heart, all right? But just still be vigilant is what Spirit Guides is saying. Be vigilant uh, of your surroundings, but don't close yourself off due to something that has not been resolved in your past. You need to resolve and let go of something that you still worry about. I don't know your life, so you're going to have to reverse the roles how they fit in your life, okay? Please make sure you reverse the roles. There are lessons, blessings, and confirmations in all my readings, my beautiful souls, okay? So your other card is facing your fears, exactly. It's something that you're still holding on to. Like I said before, Aries, I don't know your life, sweetheart, sir, but it's something that you're still holding on to that needs to be resolved. It's something that you that you need to really uh, face it, okay? Face the fears, whatever it is, okay? If it's to love again and that you're still holding on to what you went through in your past. And I know sometimes, I really know sometimes that it is easy said than done okay and i know it feels like you know it's hard to trust and to love again but spirit guides are seeing that you're surrounded by love and just keep an open heart okay don't shut the world out don't shut the people out in your life that really loves you all right so it says 
Look for ways to strengthen your strengthen your connections, Aries, to the universe and others. Stay peaceful and calm in knowing of who you are, okay? And I know sometimes it can be very scary, okay? Life can be very scary, baby. But I want you to know that you are surrounded by a lot of loving people that loves you. And Spirit Guides is saying, uh, I know it's hard to trust after everything you've been through. But it's okay to have a fence around your heart. Just don't have a wall around it. Okay? Because when you have a wall, a wall around it, you cannot, you're not inviting anyone. Even if it's just platonic friends or even if it's just, it's just people. You're not letting anyone in your heart at all. You're not letting anyone close to you when you have a wall up. But when you have a fence up, that means you're allowing the energy to be reciprocal, that you can feel it, okay? So, yeah, that part right there. Enjoy this journey, the bottom of the deck. Spirit guys, give me one more card for Aries. Thank you. Let's see what this is, Aries. Distinctive potential. Rely on your faith, Aries. <coughs> Rely on your faith and the knowledge that nothing is impossible. Use your determination to hang in there until you realize a goal. Anything is possible. But Spirit Guides want you to distinctive, your distinctive potential. Okay? Uh, rely on your faith. Your faith is going to pull you through even though you may in, be in fear of something. Okay? Your faith is going to get you through. Rely on your faith, your strength, that you're going to come out of this, that you're going to become fearless, that you're going to become strong, that you got this, that you're going to get this. Okay? I don't know who I'm talking to, but some right now I feel like that you have been suppressing some things in your life that you need to resolve in order for you to allow the flow of love to come into your life. And in order for you to allow platonic friendships and people that is that means something really uh, that's going to mean something uh, very important in your life. And I feel as though that disengage from outcomes, I feel like you have suppressed something in your life because of fear of being burnt again my goodness i don't know who you are okay so let's see what this is let's see what's going on here yeah i feel like a lot of you have moved away from a very rough toxic situation okay and it was definitely something that was very uh you went through a lot a lot of pain Okay, a lot of hurt, okay? And that's why I feel like this disengage uh, is here because I feel like there's still some emotions that's inside of you. There's still some emotions that you have suppressed about this very situation, this toxic person that you were with, that you have suppressed it, that you need to work on so that you can get this out and begin to live your life, okay? Because it's something that you went through with this person that caused you to have some fear of actually being able to allow someone to love you or you loving someone new, okay? Spirit guys, tell me more for Aries. Yeah, you got the wheel turning in your favor, okay? So Spirit guys want you to um, work on this very thing, Okay? The wheel is turning, okay? Some of you have learned how to face your fears. Some of you have learned that everyone isn't the same. Some of you have learned that uh, you can't put everyone in the same basket because someone done you wrong and you have to allow someone else to show you different. And so with the wheel of fortune, that means good luck, good fortune, things are happening or destined in your life, okay? Uh, people you know people coming into your life but i feel like because you have been so disappointed in your past with a lot of lies deception malicious acts and stuff towards you that it puts you in the energy of suppressing what you're really afraid of but you have to get to the core of why you are holding this back and why are you worried because until you face these fears you can this this wheel cannot turn for you 
So the wheel of fortune is here. It's like some of you has learned how to face your fears and that's why the wheel is turning. Some of you have not faced your fears, fears and until you face your fears, 1010 just came up on the screen, which is all about happiness, which is all about you, and which is all about yourself until you face these fears, my beautiful Aries, and get and uh, allow and, and enjoy this journey that you are on. Yeah, you walked away. You walked away, You even though you walked away physically, but you still have some things that you have to, you know, uh, that you've been worried about that you have to let go, okay? Let go so that you can open yourself to the highest love that you deserve. So you walked away physically, but mentally, internally, you're still suppressing something that you're in fear of. And I feel like what that fear is, is that if someone is, are you going to be treated this way again? Okay. So spirit guides want you to, for some of you, some of you, you have already, because the wheel is here turning. So a lot of you have faced your fears and you have overcome your fears and you're not allowing what someone done to you, uh, uh, to stop you from your happiness and stopping from, stop you from what you deserve. Okay. And for some of you, you're going to have to, I know, I know it's, I know you, that you are afraid, uh, because you've been so disappointed and let down, but, and that's a fear that you are like, you know, uh, you don't know what to believe, but spirit guides, divine universe said, I need you. I need you to work on that very thing that you have been, that you have fear of so that you can, so that you can get the love that you deserve. Okay. I love you guys. Until next time.